Well, the Walk for Liberty is a walk I'm going to be making across the country from Oregon to New Hampshire with my immediate family. Uh, and the reason why we're doing it is to promote uh, liberty and freedom oriented projects, just the ideas of freedom and liberty, particularly the Free State Project and Ron Paul's presidential campaign. When I get ramped up, um, I'll probably, I'm planning on walking around 20 to 25 miles per day. Um, so if uh, over a, the entire period of time, if I walk straight, that would probably take between four and six months, depending on how long or how many stops and breaks and stuff that I have. Generally, I walk uh, one to two times per day, um, either in the morning or in the evening or both, um, when the, the sun is not at the hottest. Um, I usually try to walk at least uh, three or four miles a day. Um, I think so far my, my most I've walked per day is about nine miles. Um, and I'll probably, I estimate I'll probably get up to about 75% capacity of what I'll do on a, the full, on a full day of the Walk for Liberty by the time it starts. Well, since I'm going to be walking a lot of miles a day, obviously foot-related issues are a, a concern. For example, uh, blisters, although there's ways to deal with those, mole skins and, and such that I've uh, learned about online. Um, there's also uh, the potential of a stress fracture on my foot, so um, I'll just try to listen to my body and if my feet feel like they're getting too tired, then I'll rest a day or two to prevent that. And uh, I'm pretty healthy in general. I don't really get sick that much, so I don't really anticipate uh, colds will be a big problem. So I, hopefully there won't be too many. <laughs> I don't think that will be that big of a concern because I'm planning on walking in divided each day into two different intervals uh, as early as possible in the day right after it gets light and stopping at the latest at 10 a.m. and then starting up in the afternoon or late afternoon and walking probably till shortly before sunset. So hopefully the midday heat won't be too much of a concern and I'll have a hydration pack pack and make sure to drink lots of water. Um, so I'm not anticipating that that'll be a big deal. I wouldn't guess I would, uh, but a lot of that depends on how I'm feeling. Uh, I'm just gonna try to listen to my body as much as possible and if I feel like I need a break, then I'll, I'll take you know one or two days off. Um, you know, maybe I'll walk four days off, four days on and take a, a day off, or maybe six days, uh, who, who knows, it really just a lot of it depends on how I feel. So I'm gonna kind of play it by ear. I imagine there will be times when that'll be necessary if, uh, if I'm out walking by myself and the support RV is not anywhere close and I get caught in the rain, then I'll probably have to walk for a while. In general, it probably depends on uh, the exact clothing we find uh, for me to wear. If, if, um, if we find some clothing that's really water resistant and it's not really uncomfortable to walk in the rain, then probably that won't be a big deal. Although if I'm uncomfortable, then I'm, I'll probably tend to avoid it if it's, if it's not clothing, it's not that comfortable in the rain. Uh, from the research that I've done online, uh, a pair of walking shoes can last anywhere from three to 600 miles. So since the trip across the country will be about 3,600 miles, then I could go through as many as about a dozen pairs of shoes or as little as maybe six pairs. So I guess a lot of it depends on, you know, probably how it, they feel and everything. And, I'll probably be a little more conservative, so probably be upwards, you know, closer to the, the one dozen mark.
Yeah, we definitely uh, encourage people if they want to walk through their town when we're passing through to do that. Um, to prepare for that, I'd suggest just getting a, a good pair of walking shoes and maybe training for a little while before that, depending on how far exactly they want to walk with us, because I don't, I definitely don't want anybody to get injured as a result of, of walking with us. So just to make sure that they're, that they're prepared to walk whatever distance they want to walk with us.